Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of The Last of Us Part 2. So in the last part, Ellie makes it to the hospital. She finds Nora. She questions Nora about Abby's location. Ellie finds out that Abby is hiding out in the aquarium. Nora's dead. We continue through the city. The, the entire place is flooded. Um, Jesse and Ellie split at a certain point. Jesse's going to go look for Tommy. Ellie decides that she would rather go look for Abby, so they are currently separated. I didn't think that was the best idea, but here we are. And I stopped as soon as Ellie made it to, like, the front of the aquarium. It looks kind of creepy, the entire atmosphere and being beside the ocean. I have zero clue what is about to happen, but I assume that Ellie finds Abby. So it should be pretty interesting. I suspect there will probably be a lot of violence i guess i think that's a fair assumption to make i don't know what else to say i just i hope everything's gonna be okay i don't know i'm i am concerned about tommy but hopefully in this episode we'll see him finally i don't know where is tommy but yeah okay no more talk no more talk let's get into it i completely forgot that it was storming I absolutely love this. What are the odds that there is a card hidden out here? No, can't. What? Come on. Jump up there. What? Why can't I go up those stairs? What's wrong with those stairs? That doesn't make any sense. Okay. I don't see a card. This definitely feels like a place where one would be hidden though. I'm just gonna waste all this time looking for a card that probably doesn't exist, but what if it does? I would be so mad. Okay, wait a second. That's another way to go. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. Okay, yeah, that's locked. Interesting, okay. Um... Maybe this isn't the way to go? Maybe this is something hidden back here? Like a card, maybe? Here we go. No, this is the way in. I mean, I'm happy about it, but... Damn it. So this was the only way. Are you kidding me?
nearly 95% of the ocean is still ex unexplored. And that is exactly why I don't like it. A few sea creatures can make their own light. It's called bioluminescence. Okay. Oh, I can't unlock it? Okay. Holy crap, is this really what it looks like behind the tanks? Huh. Minus the water, I guess. Stuff, duh. Wait, I guess Ellie's never been to an aquarium. Never mind. That was super insensitive of me. <laughs> duh. Oh, wow, this looks awesome. In one of the, I think I'm in one of the, not tank, well, I guess it could be considered a tank. Because there's the glass wall. not the way. Oh, I see. Okay. This is so creepy. Letters? Letters? No, no. Oh, come on. Give us some info. <sighs> Shit. 
part. Hell no. Abby didn't hear that. That's not good. Lock. Okay, how do I get in there? <gasps> this door looks too conveniently open. I don't like this. This feels like a door that someone is behind. Let me get the shotgun out. Run, run, run! God. What fuck happened here? Okay. <laughs> well. Why are all the doors locked, but I can't figure out how to get in them? Hmm. Okay. I guess I'll seal- wait, what is in here? There's multiple people here. <laughs> okay, another locked door. Owen Moore. Um. Owen. Is that the dude from the beginning? The one that I said at, the one that was walking with Abby, that one. I think his name was Owen. Owen Moore. Firefly tag. Okay, that door's locked. Wait, let me check this one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. No? Okay. And then... I miss that. When I tell you, I am sick of the doors being locked. People don't come back from that island. How many times has Abby risked her life for you? 
She chose this. I'm not fucking going there. Then don't! Go back. Fuck you, Owen. Hands up. Okay, so that's Owen. Where's Abby? You're that girl from Jackson. Tell me where she went. How do we know you won't kill us? Give her what she wants and we're dead. You guys can survive this. I just need her. Bullshit. You. Come here. Fucking get over here! Point to where she is on this map. And then you... It better fucking match up. Okay. What are you doing? She's probably dead anyway. It is not worth Stop. it. Stop! We can talk Back about it. Back the fuck up! Point to where she is. Fucking Christ! <laughs> She was pregnant. She's pregnant. And then Dina's pregnant. <laughs> Unbelievable. I think this journey will probably haunt Ellie for the rest of her life. I can't imagine doing this and we're not even finished. I don't know what else is going to happen, but you know, she's she's tortured someone. She has now killed a woman who was pregnant with an innocent baby even if the woman herself wasn't innocent. Um and that when she found out she was pregnant, that clearly affected her a lot and I don't know it's just I guess the overall arching question is was this worth it you know just because Joel died was the is the journey that she's having to take now worth it I don't know they live in a world where there's no justice law like justice system there's no laws so people take things into their own hands and it's so easy for someone to become like the villain, this big monster, and 
right now, from their perspective, that is what Ellie is. She is the monster. But from her perspective and her watching Joel get brutally murdered, they're the monsters. All right, there's my ramblings. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I, I think it's interesting, like, the parallels of Mel being pregnant and Dina being pregnant, too. Because now she's going to think about that, like, you know, that could have been Dina. Someone could kill Dina. <laughs> she took it anyway. Oh, yeah, this was the book we found earlier. I read all that. Okay, so we have Tommy, so Abby wasn't there, what? Is that everyone dead for the most part? Owen, Mel, Nora, a couple other people. Am I getting close to the end? Huh, okay. All right, let's go find Tommy. It's not gonna work. It's completely covered in snow. Nah, by the time we get there, this whole area be thawed. Where are you going? Needed some air. What are you guys doing up? Couldn't sleep. Come take a look at this. Thought is to head home via Ellensburg. If we're in Fall City by tomorrow, we're doing good. Hey. He's not leaving. They got what they deserved. But she gets to live. Is that okay? It has to be. Okay. Mm. I'm really not looking forward to going through Idaho again. Mm, what you should be worried about is what Maria's gonna do to you when we get home. We've been through worse. <laughs> However, as I was passing through some ritzy section of town, Come across this necklace. It sparkles a lot. I think it's real gold. You think it's real gold? It's real gold. <laughs> Let's see it. I know what gold looks like. <laughs> if it's legit, can we say it's from all of us? Ha! <laughs> you find your own damn bribes. How you doing? Fine. Ellie? Fine. <sighs> Thanks for coming back for me. My friend's problems are my problems. <laughs> You're such a sap. <laughs> He's a nice right, guy. I'm bad, I my friends can't get out of their own damn way. It's better. Oh, shit. Oh, WLF. Jesse, stand up. Hands in the air, I shoot this one too. Don't you do it, Ellie. Get out of here. Stand up, now. Don't you fucking dare. Shut the fuck up. Oh. All right, stop, stop. Toss your weapon. Toss your weapon. Fuck. No, no. 
I know why you killed Joel. He did what he did to save me. There is no cure because of me. I am the one that you want. Just let him go. You killed my friends. We let you both live. And you wasted it. What? How the hell did she get Dad? to our local? Dad! What? Dad! Come on. <laughs> uh huh. What? So I'm supposed to believe that she tracked Tommy, Jesse, and Ellie from the aquarium to the theater. They just got sloppy and they let someone follow them? Like what? Dad! And now we're playing as her. <laughs> okay, keep an open mind, keep an open mind. My immediate feelings are disgust. But I guess, hey, at least I feel something. I don't... I don't want to play as her. I'm going to, clearly, because I want to find out how this ends, but... I don't want to play as her. Thank you card from Mel. Abby, I wanted to say thanks again. Your dad has been an amazing mentor as I transition to more complicated procedures. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you vouching for me. I think we should grab some booze and get wasted ASAP, Mel. Okay, and then... I've tried to draw you sleeping, but these damn hands just can't capture your mesmerizing beauty. I had fun yesterday, let's do it again. Your uber goober Owen. Well, I'm not looting. Well, there's that. Dad, come on! You can't keep doing this. So this was four years earlier, so... Four years ago, that would be... What? Four years ago would, would would be when Joel saved Ellie, right? Yeah. Dad! Where are you? Here we go. There. Dad! Okay, how am I getting over this fence? This is so weird. Whoa. Jeez. Um. Oh, I see. Get through here. Maybe I can get onto the roof. <sighs> Look at that. 1978. Here we go. <laughs> I'm trying not to be grumpy that I'm playing as her, but I feel grumpy. Oh. 
<laughs> you, uh, you got a little mud on you there, sweetheart. So do you. Where? Right there. Oh. You know, every time you run off like this, they give me shit about it. Come on. Believe it or not, they actually care about your safety. These woods are safe. Dad. Abs, she's been hanging out right on the other side of those trees. And? She's due any day now. We'll just check on her, and then, and then we'll head back. I promise. Let's just make it quick. See? I've got my little girl to keep me safe. Okay, if this is four years earlier, she's definitely older than I Ellie, yeah? I mean, I just like looking at her, she looks like she might be a couple he years older than Ellie. Job. I swore him to secrecy. How'd you get him to talk? Uh, I asked. Huh. She probably cut through the playground. Hey, look what I found. Oh, wow. 1978. Don't have that one in my collection. You can keep it. If you promise not to pull anything like this again. <laughs> you got yourself a deal. Why don't I believe you? No reason I could think of. Come on, let's keep looking. Dad. Relax. You'll be back with Owen before you know it. Wait, what? Nothing. Just noticed you two have been hanging out a lot. More so than usual. Oh, God. <clears throat> How long have you known? I'm your dad. I see things. Like the way you both try really, really hard not to look at each other when you're around me. I can't handle this. And he makes you laugh. <laughs> That's because he's such an idiot. I just like how he's extra nice to me now. Abs, look. Fresh tracks. Wait, this is just your sneaky way of giving me a tracking lesson, isn't it? I would never. Is it working? Oh my god, I, I roll. Mean found you. Was that supposed to be the justification yeah, for her tracking? You cheated. You do what you need to do to get it done. Wow. You actually listen. You have your moments of wisdom. He's an expert tracker. Uh, Dad, I found something. Oh my god. She already gave birth. Ew. And look. Two sets of tracks. Dad? It's her. Let's go. That doesn't sound good. No, she's in pain. What makes that noise? Abs. Come on. That wait, what if they're infected around? This area is clear. You know they roam. You brought your gun, right? Of course. Oh shit. Abs. Oh, it's a zebra. What? Oh, We've got to cut her loose. It's okay, Cobb. Don't worry. I'm not going to hurt you. It's okay. Oh. Damn it. It's really in there. Uh, abs, come here. I'm gonna hold her. Okay. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Doc, Doc, are you around here? Over here, Owen. What? Hey, get over here and help me hold her. We need you back up. At Owen! The... Hold her. Come on. Uh, All right. You got her tight? Uh, yeah. All right. Get in there, Abs. Steady. Holy fuck. Everybody's looking for you. We got it. Hey, wait. Dad. What's going on? Come on. We 
me to get back there. Oh, look at the baby. Oh, that girl showed up. What girl? The one Marlene keeps talking about. They found her in the tunnels. She has an old bite mark on her arm. No signs of infection. <laughs> that can't be. They're already running tests on her, but you gotta get down there. Dad. Come on. It's intertwined with the brain. There's no other option. There has to be some other way. There's no way to remove the specimen without destroying the host. The host? She's a child, not some petri dish. You think I don't... I'm aware of the situation. And you're okay with killing her? No, I'm okay with developing a vaccine that'll help save millions of lives. How many fireflies have died for less? That was their choice. Are you asking me? Are you telling me this is how it's gonna be? I... I'm begging you to buy in. And what if this was Abby? <laughs> Look, everything that we've been fighting for, all the sacrifices, all of the horrific, all of that is justified with this one act. False. I, fall, I this fully disagree with that. What would you do? Abby. I'll buy you some dinner. Thank you, sweetheart. Look, Marlene. Do it. Thank you. I'm gonna go tell Joel. Why? He traveled across the country with her. Why? He has a right to know. Good luck with your surgery. This guy seems like a piece of shit. That's just, I mean, based off of that conversation. You're doing the right thing. If it was me, I'd want you to do the surgery. <laughs> oh, this part makes me so mad. This made me mad in the last game. I just want to say before I continue. <laughs> Regardless of if it's wrong or right to kill Ellie, it would have not taken that much. The, or the fake urgency, I think, is what gets me. Like this, like, we gotta do it now. We have to hurry. We have to hurry before she wakes up. Like the fake urgency. It has been how many years? Like 20 something years. And like the, at this point, we're past the sense of urgency. And all you had to do was wake her up ask her even if she disagreed i guess then knock her out but like the fact that they can't even justify asking her and then they're like and then abby's like oh if it was me i'd want you to do the surgery if it was you they'd probably ask <laughs> your dad would probably have a whole conversation you guys would cry you guys would hug goodbye there'd be like this whole um you know ceremony of goodbye abby and ellie doesn't get that privilege because she's just a random girl with a random guy and that thing I think that's what drives me insane the most everyone's like oh Abby or Ellie would have said yes Ellie would have said yes you're you're right she probably would have said yes but no one asked no one cared to give her the decency of saying goodbye to the only family she has the only person that she's been with for at this point months that just drives me crazy. It's like her life means that little to these people that she can't even say goodbye to Marlene, to Joel. Like she can't even just like say goodbye to her own life. You know what I mean? Like she can't just like, I feel like when sometimes when people know they're dying, they have that moment of like, okay, you know, 
This is it. They think back on their memories. They reflect. Ellie wasn't going to get any of that. That just drives me crazy. That makes me so mad. Because it's like, if she died and that's how the game went, I would have been okay and I would have been fine. But the fact, it, like, that's what made me the most mad. Was they weren't even going to let her have her goodbyes. Because there's supposedly urgency. Like, it's in her brain. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, back to it. Oh. And it just hit me. Okay, that explains it. So that- her dad's the surgeon. Yeah. So, I guess that's why she brutally killed Joel the way that she did. Because Joel shot her dad. Or... Did he stab him? I can't remember. Is he still in the fucking building? Is that... Abby. No! Abby, don't look. Dad! Dad! Oh, he stabbed him in the no! throat or something? Was that what it was? No! Get up! Please stop! Please don't shoot! Joel, please get up! <laughs> no! 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 Did he just spit on Joel? No, no, no. We're here for him. That's it. It's too risky to leave them alive. Too fucking bad. He's right. We can't have loose ends. We oh, Mel said no, no loose ends. He was. They didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, look at my face. Fuck your face. You should have been guarding the upstairs like I told you to. Move! Back up. Calm down. Or what? Back the fuck up! Calm down! Darden! You gonna shoot me? Stop! We're done. Okay, so the only reason Tommy and Ellie survived was because Owen and Abby. But Mel wanted to kill her. Dang, that's crazy. Because what did Mel say? We let you guys live? That's what Mel said. But Mel was against that idea completely. Not that I'm justifying Mel dying because she was pregnant, and I, I don't agree with that at all. I just thought that was interesting. Abby. <laughs> oh. Easy. <sighs> You okay, Apps? Yeah, just... <gasps> What's up? Been searching everywhere for you. <sighs> We've been called up. Isaac wants us at the front. What? Are you serious? I'm afraid so. <sighs> we should hustle. We're leaving now? <laughs> yes. I'm on us. Okay. Oh, man. Fuck my neck. Hey, thanks for giving me the room last night. Yeah, it, who was it this time? That cook chick? Nah, the weather chick. She's down from the mountain. Oh, the scientist. Nice. Uh, she's a little too excited about her job. Talked my ear off about some storm and... I don't know. Worth it, though? Oh, absolutely. I can die happy now. <laughs> you should. You're never gonna do better than her. <laughs> I keep thinking the same thing. Manny. And yet, here we are. So he's the guy that spit on Joel. Well, I can tell you right now, the vaccine probably wouldn't have worked for him. So, there's that. Probably wouldn't have worked for Abby. Probably wouldn't have worked for Owen. <laughs> ah, I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. My immediate reaction, my immediate, immediate feelings for anyone who cares, is am I supposed to feel bad for Abby? Because her dad died trying to kill a child 
that had someone that really cared about them. I don't know. The way I see it, this is genuinely what I feel like. I feel that if Ellie and Joel would have had the chance to say goodbye, I think they probably would have went something like this. Joel would have been like, no, 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 like, you know, begging her not to. I think Ellie would have probably been like, yes. You know, even if she decided that she, that was the best decision, you know, for humanity or whatever, I feel like at some point, even if it took them 24 hours of going back and forth, crying, whatever, I genuinely think at some point Joel would have been like, okay, because like at that point, what can he do? She's sitting there consenting, but without them waking her up, without them letting say goodbye, I feel like from anyone's perspective, like from a from a dad's or any parent's perspective, a protective parent, and you're just being told by fireflies who you already don't trust, you don't know that they even care about Ellie or their best her best interest. You're not fully aware of Marlene's conversation with the doctor like they just showed us. Obviously, we didn't have any of that context of um I think there may have been clues someone commented. Like, if I would have found a clue, I would have seen more about Marlene struggling with it. But, like, if you're just going straight through and you don't find the clues, there isn't really much to tell you in the first game that, like, Marlene, like, grappled with that decision. So, from Joel's perspective, what they're doing is extremely sneaky and just, like, selfish. It's just, like, another group of... I don't want to say militant because I don't think that's the word like a group of militia or whatever making a decision and they don't really care who's affected by it in the long run like they're making the decision they're making the call this is what's going to happen boohoo if you disagree and I just feel like if if goodbyes could have been said things would have been a lot different but I feel like when you don't get goodbye you don't, you're in the dark. You're not really getting much, much explanation. You asked to say goodbye and they said no. At that point, the protective instinct kicks in. The adrenaline kicks in. You're like, no, this isn't happening. Like they're trying to do something. Like, that's what I just feel like. I feel like anyone in real, like real life, someone, doctor sat you down and was like, listen, we're going to kill your loved one. And like, they, they, they agreed source trust me bro like (laughs) you know like you're gonna be like wait hold on a second they're like no 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 like if we kill your loved one the whole world gets cured trust 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 and you're like wait well let me say goodbye no 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 trust like what what (laughs) are you kidding so i don't know it's hard for me to feel i'm trying to like sympathize but it's really hard for me to feel bad Cause I feel like what they were doing was shady. I do. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the like the urgency was about. Even if they were like, okay, we're gonna give you guys the next like three days to like say your goodbyes and you know maybe have you because they've been on this long journey. They you know Ellie at this point has been through the David situation and it's just been one thing after another and they've been through this intense journey and it's just like. Could they, like, sit down? Could they have a dinner together? Could they just, like, take a breath? Enjoy, like, maybe go take, you know, go take a walk in the city. Go look at the giraffes again. I just feel like Ellie deserved that. And that's never really in the conversations. I I always get comments of people saying, like, Ellie would have said yes. Like, what what Joel did was so wrong. Ellie would have said yes. I agree she would have said yes, but also I just feel like what they did was also as equally wrong. I feel like they were both so wrong. Man, I am really rambling this episode. (laughs) I get it. I get why they hate Joel. I do, but I just keep thinking about how Abby was like, Dad, if that was me, I'd want you to, I'd want you to do the surgery. And it's like, You know, Joel and Ellie never got to have that conversation because you guys never, you guys never gave them the choice. And what if Abby said, Dad, if that was me, I wouldn't want you to do it. You think her dad would disrespect that decision? He would fight for her. He would say, I don't give a crap about humanity. I don't care. 
Because if the cure doesn't work, all we have in this world are our loved ones. And our time is already limited as it is. I don't care. That's what he would say. And that's why he didn't want to answer the question. Is because if Abby didn't want him to do it, he wouldn't let them do it. He wouldn't do it. He's the surgeon. He would refuse. I guarantee it. I don't know. I'm sorry for going on such a tangent. I just I have a lot, a lot of thoughts clouding my brain right now. <laughs> so many. Okay, so is this post or two? Oh, this is where Dina. Oh, this is wow. where they had the classroom set up. So this is where Dina and Ellie broke in. So, is this post killing Joel or before? I gotta talk to my dad for a second. Grab us some food. Yeah, Assu I'm assuming. Right. Get me something after. Complicante. You get what you get. I'm assuming after because she was having a nightmare. So. No, this isn't where Ellie and Dina broke in at. Nice to see That's just too, a different Abby. school. There oh, he is. Jordan. I didn't Jordan. See you coming with us to the Saravina? Uh, Manny and I just got called up to the FOB. What are you doing at the Saravina? Hotel and the school are getting evacuated. We're grabbing supplies and bringing everyone back to the base. Seriously? Man, can you fucking believe after everything we're falling back? You don't know that's what it is. Uh, at least Leah might be home from the TV station sooner. Well, there's that, yeah. I should run. May your survival be long. And may your death be swift. Okay, is Manny dead? Because I keep thinking there was someone in like the hotel, was it Hotel Saravina? That. Ellie said, oh, he was one of the group members, but I didn't recognize him. Uh, I don't know if it was Manny or not. Hey, sir. Ah, Abby. How you feeling? Fantastic. Would you please tell him to get rid of this? Oh, I've tried. <laughs> I look good. Te ves horrible. <laughs> bueno, we have to head out. Keep him safe. <laughs> For you, I will. I don't know what to tell you. You got unlucky. These guns are solid. Okay. They believe if they kill all of the sinners, the world will go back to the way it was. Like Elise said. What are they serving today? Burritos. Again. Okay. Abby, what are you doing? Hey, hey man, there's a line. Penny, what the fuck? Excuse me. Wait your turn like the rest of Sorry. us. Sorry. We're going to the front. Come on. Ugh, so embarrassing. Why do you have three? Go on back. Now don't freak out. Mel's coming with us. Manny? Where's your pack? In the room? Why are you doing this to me? Because I care about both of you. And I'm tired of all the bullshit. Does she know I'm on this drive? She does. And she's cool with it? Yeah. <laughs> Why does your yeah sound like a no? <laughs> it's my accent. Come on, stop being paranoid. Okay, so I heard it them say that it's the scars. I think you get a kick out of making me uncomfortable. Kill all the sinners. Oh. It's an opportunity for you two to finally move forward. We've barely said a word to each other since Jackson. I'm just supposed to pretend that didn't happen? Of course not. You guys need to talk about it. Well, she she wanted to talk dead as much as the rest of us. But she's not like the rest of us. She hasn't hurt people like that before. <sighs> she, she kills scars all the time. Not the way we kill Joe. Don't forget, we are grunts. She's a medic. Come on, Abby. She's family. Do it for me, okay? I'll try. That's all I'm asking for. Hmm. 
So if they, the scars think if they kill all the sinners, the world will go back to how it was. Get your things ready. I'm gonna grab mail. Yeah. Be nice. Bite me. Yep. Stadium. Scientist, huh? Huh. It's a big room. I'll do it later. Ew. Oh, I. Okay, so I need to pick that up. Is there anything? Knock, knock. Ready to roll? Yeah, just about. She looks more pregnant now than she looked at the aquarium. What the heck? Hi. Hey. I actually cleared you for active duty. Barely. You could probably get a stay if you ask. I'd rather not sit around if I don't have to. And Owen's okay with this? Why would it be up to Owen? We need to grab Alice on our way. Hey. Do better. I'm feeling an overall lack of interest in this part. What have you been up for? But it's just the usual rotation, don't worry. Hey, uh, when you get back, will you check on my dad? He seems, uh, I don't know, worse? Worse how? Well, he's complaining about a sharp pain in his wrists. He can barely hold a spoon. Maybe we can get him some more painkillers. Heard they moved you and Owen to Section 96? Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's lots of young families. A lot of food. Wow. Getting you guys excited about the baby? Seeing all the kids running around. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready. <laughs> all those crying babies. Let's drive Owen crazy. He hasn't even seen it yet. He's out on rotation with Danny. Danny? Yikes. Sucks for him. Yeah. Wonder why it took him four years to come for Joel. Just because she was younger? She's playing inside. Great. Abby, you want to grab her? Hey, girl. Hey, you crazy dog. There's my favorite girl. The only one that'll put up with your shit. <laughs> Don't be jealous. Hey, Al. You want to go to the trucks? Let's go to the trucks. Oh, hey there, Bear. Yeah, okay, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> oh, this is the dog I killed. I thought he was going to attack me. Get the ball. <laughs> Who's the best boy? Yeah. <laughs> did I see you with Jen last night? Yes, you did. You dirty dog. What's she doing in town? Something for Isaac? Man, that's gotta be a lonely job. She really likes it. Ask her about the cumulus cloud. <laughs> well, I guess you get to stay away from the combat. Yeah, hey, hey, that's Abby. what you're into. Hey, uh, I'd be happy staying put, I think. I recognize her. Families. You'd miss fucking up scars. I think she's dead. Hey, Pat. Hey. 
Hey, Pat. Can I have my usual? You got it. Gracias. Which trucks are in? Take S24. I'm driving. <sighs> Sign us out. Thanks. May your survival be long. May your death be swift. I could use a warm up. Oh, this thing's getting stuck again. Anybody got any grease? We are out. Shit. Okay, never mind. I'll manage. Oh, he wants to shoot guns? Down for some friendly competition? The loser cleans the apartment. Mm, high stakes. Best score on a full magazine? You're on, Cameron. Does he know those chest that shots don't time. kill clickers? Yeah, the gun's why I won. Oh, that reminds me. There is a huge pile of dirty dishes. <laughs> You're cruel. Ooh, you can fold my laundry, too. When are we gonna go back to place. Ellie? Alice gets shotgun. Mel's pregnant. <laughs> she could use the fresh air. Give you two a chance to talk. Real subtle, man. Talk about what? Owen? Gracias. How have you been sleeping these days? Not great. Do you want me to get you something from the pharmacy? Or... Nah, I'm, I'm good. It's not a big deal. No, it's, it's fine. I'm just going to wear myself out. I've been picking up a few extra assignments. You and Owen. What do you mean? Nothing. Hey, Something going on? Where are you headed? Two. Truck S24 headed to two. May your survival be long. May your dead be swift. Okay. Are we lost a hatchery? Yeah. Any plan on getting it back? No, nah, Isaac says it's low priority. We're fishing enough wild salmon right now. What did you mean about me and Owen? Um... I haven't seen him in like two weeks. He keeps picking up open assignments. Has he talked to you? Did, did he say anything or...? No, we're still not. I mean, I, I've seen him in the mess hall, but we walk around each other. Jackson shook him. You know, I wouldn't read too much into it. Oh, shit! Ambush! Hang on! Oh, hey, I forgot no, about the stairs. They were waiting for us. Yeah. The fuck you think we're doing? If I let Abby die here, does that mean Get that Ellie's safe? Bring up the earth! Get us out of it! I'm trying! Go! Get around there! They just keep coming! Oh. Yeah, they do. Oh. 
So bad at a car. Okay. Hope we have unlimited ammo. <laughs> You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Fucking scars. How far are we from the fob? It's a hike. We're too exposed. Let's get inside. I don't even know if I connected one bullet. Let's make sure this place is secure. Oh, she collects state quarters. Is that what it is? Yes. There's enough stuff here to make a pie bomb. Copy that. Maybe we should have taken our chances outside. Nah. We got this. Gas is on impact. Explodes. Okay. Halloween stuff, really? Oh wait, I don't have a melee weapon. Lots of places to hide in here. She have listening? Oh, she has listening too. I feel like that was just so much more effort than what was needed. the slowest stealth kill I think I've ever seen. We clear? Yeah. Clear. This is so much better than getting drunk and watching anime. What? Nothing. Okay, how the heck do we get out of here? Okay, the big hole in the... Guys, yep. look up there. See the light coming through? Could be a way out. I'll climb up there and check it out.
Here we go. good? Yeah. Running low now, ammo, though. Can we say fuck this place? Yes. Fuck this place. We're getting out of here. I feel like people definitely heard the shots, though. First. Another month and I wouldn't fit through here. Go ahead, Apps. You said ladies first. <laughs> I like you, Apps. Okay. Abby, this reminds me of your dad's greenhouse. Shouldn't. All these plants are alive. <laughs> Good point. You know what? This is good. You two needed a bonding moment. Abby, Shut that's up, not what I was Working trying. Working already. Pick up the bottle. There we go. I said I wasn't gonna loot for Abby, but yep. here I am looting. Hey, uh, I know it's an addiction. You can play those. Maybe later.
Man, they're giving me a lot of upgrade material. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Cobb's dead ahead. No scars in sight. Well, they're out there. Yeah. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Them. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when we could pass through this area without getting jumped by scars? Getting nostalgic about the truce? Easier days, huh? Too easy. We let our guard down, and they strung up an entire squad. <laughs> that was in retaliation to us shooting those kids. Okay, but those kids attacked <laughs> our guys. What would you do? I don't know, not riddle them with bullets? I'd rather save our people. Many, they're kids. It's not their fault. Not our fault either. Those deaths are on them. Okay. That's how Joel felt. Ellie was his people. Not to jinx us, but it is very quiet out of here. Keep checking those sight lines. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Shit. Something's blocking the door. Maybe there's another way in. Table? Up here. Manny, see what's up there. On it. What if the cable just collapsed? Okay. Cable's got on something. How are we gonna get the dog up? There you go. Come on up. Mel, stay with Alice. I'll try to get that door open. Find you two another way in. Cool. Be careful. <laughs> well? Still no sign of scars. Maybe they gave oh. up. Long way down. Yeah, yeah, it is. Am I gonna am I not gonna go down? Survive that. We're in. Come on. I'm at the door. <sighs> okay, come on. Quick. <sighs> yeah, sure. Here. They seem so awkward. Whoa. Check it out. Some kind of boat launch up. Let's remember this place. Command's always on the lookout for spare parts. I haven't decided if I'm even gonna level Abby up at all. I mean, increased maximum health. If I leave her health lower, does that mean that Ellie is more powered than her? I 
I think I'm just gonna not. with something. Fuck oh, oh. Shit, sorry. You do okay? Yeah. Crank broke. What now? Abby, look. A hatch. Manny, just hang tight. We're gonna find a way up to the roof. Okay. So, um, glad you hitched a ride with us. Right. Remind me to thank Manny for that one. <laughs> I am glad I'm here with you guys. I I hate to hear you got in trouble and I couldn't help. Hey, why have you been avoiding me? I wasn't avoiding you. Come on, you've barely said anything to me since Jackson. I don't know, I... I guess I was shook by Jackson, too. You don't think Joel deserved what he got? I think he deserved worse. I just... I just wish I didn't take part in it. I get it. What kind of a person could do that, right? I'm not saying that. Let's see if there's a way to the hatch. He deserved worse? What is worse than that? Hey, Abby, boost me up there. Got an idea. I like ideas. I'm looking for alcohol. I don't see any though. Lock. Let me guess. She has to unlock the door. Okay. Here we go. Got it. So what's your idea? Um, one sec. What are you doing? Getting us out of here. Okay, just go slow. One advantage of being pregnant, low center of gravity. I'll take your word for it. I'm assuming she's opening this door for me. Made it. How'd I know? Okay, getting closer to the hatch. Okay, how do I? Okay, I have to figure out how to turn these tents off. <sighs> hey, smart. Okay, there we go. Reminds me a little of Owen's boat. Uh, uh. Is he still trying to fix that thing up? <sighs> yeah. But he says he'll be done any day now. Any day now. <laughs> Everybody's got their obsession. Yeah, like me and dog toys. Yup. And me with my stupid coins. <laughs> Hmm. There's a catwalk running to the hatch. But how do we get to the catwalk? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <coughs> Something to do with this <laughs> rope, I guess. Mm, this will come in handy. Reveals new upgrade branches. I haven't decided that I'm doing that yet. Mm. 
Okay, what in the world? Yeah, that looks right. Perfect. Okay, what am I missing? Um... Definitely has something to do with the... That's promising. Is it? What does that do exactly? That doesn't feel promising for some reason. Okay, I guess it was promising. I forgot about the ladder. I was like, are we just gonna jump? Long way down. Vertigo hitting you hard? Especially when I look down. Okay, so we know one of Abby's weaknesses. She doesn't like heights. There they are. Manny, be right down. Okay. Look, Bob, sweet Bob. Almost there. Bet we can cut through that rail yard. You want to get off the roof first? <laughs> Please. It's kind of hard to imagine you being afraid of anything. I'm not as fearless as you think. Oh, please. Like, I, I could never do the surgery stuff you do. Be too freaked out about fucking it up. <laughs> you think I don't feel the same way? <clears throat> oh. For what it's worth, my dad always said you were his best student. He did? Well, he always said he was an idiot. <laughs> Come on. Alice. Oh, good girl. About time you two caught up. Been quiet out here? Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, we're almost to the fob. Man, when we get back home, I'm gonna find a couch, watch a movie, and drink until I pass out. Oh yeah? Which drink? Which movie? <laughs> Strong questions. Movie's the one with... ¿Cómo se llama? The girl who rides the wolf. Oh, I love that one. And drink... My mezcal from the party last week. Excuse me? You mean our mezcal? Okay, we'll follow the tracks. That'll get us back on the main road to the fob. <gasps> I don't like this. I know. Keep your eyes open. Any way over that wall? You just saw me. I can see. Shh. Quiet. Here comes more of them.
How many? Three? One, two, three. Oh, I didn't even... They blend in. anymore on me let's go there's got to be more guys up here Almost there. Through here. Damn it. Okay, three, four, five, six. Um, well, we're in a bad spot. children after you ready glad you guys are around lucky we drove by heard all the shooting <laughs> fuck man you okay i survived this Here, got you is that a bullet hole in his hand hey let me see your hand <laughs> we're in We're 
almost there. Open the gates. Let him through. No. What? Look back. Squeeze this as hard as you can, okay? He's got a gunshot wound to the hand. Hey. We did all right back there. That was almost a compliment. Go get help. Stay, Alice. Come on, it's this way. Sit. That was a lot of blood, right? She shouldn't be out. She'll be okay. She'll be okay. Hey, who we got here? Hey, come on, girl. This is Alice. Come on, Alice. Good girl. Thank you. These new recruits, I don't trust them. Thanks again, guys. Checking in. Hey, you two. What you got for us? No assignment. Just says report to Isaac. Both of us? Yeah. I'm curious. Is busy here. Something's going down. We better find Isaac. We should make sure Mel's okay first. I'm curious how she ended up locked up. I don't know any of these people. You? Abby, come here a sec. Yeah? Heard about your ambush. Where'd they hit you? Uh, right around here. Near the warehouses. Oh, shit. They keep slipping past our lines. Hey, you know where Isaac is? Uh, he was here a few minutes ago. Okay, thanks. We'll look around. All right, so the good news is nothing's dislocated. Can I go back out Looks pretty bad, huh, Doc? I've seen worse. Right. Hold still. Hurt? No. Yeah. Yeah. Looks clean. What about this? How's this? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Okay. It's just a sprain. Cleaned out the wound. Okay. Hey, man. Not Feeling not better? Uh, pain meds it's are kicking in, so right yeah. Now. Hang in there. As as we're done, How's the hand? Go clean the wound. Yeah, I'm gonna keep most of my fingers. <laughs> Brother, you only need three. I know. It all happened so fast. Could have been much worse, though. Hmm. Speak of the devil. Hey, guys. How you doing, Melon? Just a few more stitches, and I'll be good as new. You guys need to convince this girl to relax. Hey, Mel. Relax. You got it. Hey, um, I need some muscle, so can you two give me a hand or something? Sure. Don't move. I'll just be here. Um. Relaxing. Nora, have you had a chance to relax? Ugh. I'm shipping out to the Westside Hospital in a few. Orders are to get everything. How's Mel? Really? Well, the baby's vitals were a little elevated, but I'm not worried. Someone should get word to Owen. He'll want to be here for her. Yeah. I need to show you guys something. What is it? Follow me. Oh, my God. Are these all ours? Yeah. And more are coming in by the hour. You can't tell Mel, all right? Nora. Just not yet. Come here. Who's in that body bag? Holy shit. 
shit. It's Danny. Oh, that's the guy from Hotel Servina, isn't it? Where's Owen? I don't know. A few days back, there were some scar sightings out by the marina. Danny and Owen were sent on a sweep. And this morning, the guards found Danny collapsed by the perimeter fence. He'd walked himself back with a bullet in his stomach. Oh, never mind. Isaac talked with him until he passed, but as far as I can tell, there's no units going back that way. So what about Owen? Did you ask Isaac what happened? Yeah, I tried. But he gave me that, that fucking look, and then he told me to keep quiet about it. Which means you can't say shit. Owen's a big boy. I'm sure he's fine. Where is Isaac? I'll be discreet. Last I heard, he was um, in the apartments. Okay, I'm gonna go check up on Mel, so. Let me know what you guys find out. Yeah. By the marina? Are they sure it was scars? Could it have been Tommy? Why the hell hasn't Isaac sent on a search party for Owen? Maybe he hasn't, just didn't tell Nora. I fucking hope so. Maybe it was the scars? I don't know. We're looking for Isaac. He's inside. Go on in. Thank you. Damn, look who it is. Sup, fellas? Got time for a game? Uh, can't. Here for Isaac. Whatever, big shot. Not my fault I'm so good at what I do. Mm-hmm. See you around. Isaac, took three days, but I finally got something out of number 74. If what he's saying is true, sounds like the Southern Shore might be our best bet. I marked up a map and left it in your suite. We should send scouts to verify as soon as possible. I still feel like he might be holding out. Give me a few more days with him, Sergeant Foster. Okay, so they're torturing people. Got it. I don't miss this place. Fuck. Always hated the smell. Holy crap. After our morning, I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. I hear that. Wow. I wouldn't mind a few minutes with these guys. Hey, Abby. We need to go up. Isaac's in there. Oh. Do you know if he'll be long? Said to get him when you two arrive. Well. Sir, Abby and Manny are here. Don't let him fall asleep. Yes, sir. Let's go up. This is worse than Fedra? I heard you two ran into some trouble. No losses on our side. Just some minor injuries. Can't say the same for them. Or better than I meant? More of that. This is better than Fedra. Never seen the base this packed. We'll give it another day. We're still waiting on some units. What's going on, boss? Small skirmishes. Can't keep going like this. Then 
What? We could try another truce. But how long before some asshole on their side or our side unravels the whole thing? No. It has to be all of them. Sir, we'll try attacking their island. Not like this. Not with everyone. There's a big storm a few days out. We're gonna use it to mask our approach. You two are gonna lead the first wave. Pick your squads, start prepping. I want Owen. When are he and Danny getting back? Talk, Nora. No secrets between the Salt Lake crew, huh? Is someone okay? As far as I know. Then, then why haven't you sent a search party after him? He shot Danny. Apparently to protect some scar. It's bullshit. Excuse me? That's not Owen. You got it wrong. You're saying Danny used his last breath to lie to me. Sir, people hear that story. Owen's dead. Anyone who finds him, they'll gun him down for sport. And I suggest you all stop gossiping about it. Let me go after him. I'll walk him back in. We'll get to the No. Bottom. You said yourself the storm's a few No. Days. We've only got one shot at this. And this is Bigger than any of us. Definitely bigger than Owen. If he turns up, then fine. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And we'll get to the bottom of it. I need you, Abby. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Good. Look over the plans and go through your roster. Grab some food. We'll talk later. No way Owen killed Danny over some scar, right? What? No. Abby, don't. I'll be back by morning. You just gotta cover me till then. I said we'll kick your ass. Not before the assault. You heard him, he needs me. If Owen's out there, how the hell are you going to find him? I know where he'll go. What, the aquarium? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> what? Seriously, stop it. <laughs> All right. Why don't you come on over and enjoy this view with me then? It's great. It's the best. Oh. <laughs> come on. We made it all the way up here, just so you could wimp out on the last two steps. Yeah. Yes, deal was to get up here, so. Mm. All right, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna get your ass over here, sit on the edge, or you can go down here on the kid seat, and look at this view with me. We can't miss training. Really? Not even just for one night. No. Can we talk about it? It's getting late. Yeah. Okay.
Don't. Don't do not. It is too high. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. You know, I don't think I can live like this anymore, Abby. Owen, I'm serious. I will break up with you. Owen. I always love you. Don't! Owen! <sighs> Abby! I'm down here, you asshole. You jumped? And I missed it? I thought you drowned. And you came to my rescue? No. <laughs> I came to make sure you drowned. <laughs> uh, I found something pretty awesome. What? I think you're gonna have to follow me to see it. Owen, we have to go back. We will, once you see this. Owen. What are they gonna do? Kick out a bunch of displaced fireflies who have nowhere else to go? Maybe. I don't wanna find out. Just come see this thing. Take a deep <laughs> breath. You wanna keep going? Fuck yeah. This place is crazy. I think it's like one of those uh, zoos, but for fish. Shut up. Check this water pup out. I saw this seal the other day. It was covered in spots. They don't have spots, they're brown. Those are sea lions. No, no, you don't know. I know what I saw with my eyes. Hey, give me a hand with this. Yep. <laughs> Got it. Come on. What is this place? Well, clearly this is some sort of theater, but for a uh, fish. <laughs> what? Are you a rooster? What? I'm a wolf. That's my wolf howl. <laughs> You're an idiot. You think this sailboat was part of the show? No, nah, looks like somebody turned this into a makeshift dock or something. There's some kids' clothes. Bet a family came through. Look at these drawings. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe they joined the wolves. Yeah, or it got killed by scars. Such an optimist. Mm -hmm.
All right, enough of this boat. You wanna go see the rest of the fish zoo? Do you think there's more to see? Of course. Let's go. through that get me up there yep here uh, okay <laughs> holy shit look at you <laughs> pushed 185 pounds yesterday yeah right so I feel like I could have take just a quick look around and then the door. We're right back. <laughs> uh huh. Except that this is nothing, and in a bed made of bed. Not happening. Just wait. Any fish in there? <sighs> oh my god. Oh, you don't see that every day. I saw wasn't bronze either, so. It's a tank in the floor. Can you imagine this place filled with people? Kids laughing, running around. Kids, if you find this, I want you to know I don't blame you. Those seraphites are selling a good line. I understand why you thought you'd be better off with them. There's food and water in the boat. Take it and sell away from this place. I know I got too controlling. I just wanted to so much for you two to be safe. I hope you see that. I couldn't find antibiotics. I want you both to know I love you, Ricky. Keep watch out for Max. You owe him that, Dad. They left to go to the seraphites? I think it's the same family from the boat. That'd be my guess, yeah. Stingray Bay Cafe. This kid's just left. This is our boat, Captain. Shit. Wow. Dad, I'm taking Max away from here. He can't spend his life locked inside this rotting building. All he'll do is take on your weaknesses. When the soldiers killed Mom, you just stood there like a coward. What kind of example is that? You should have gotten angry. You should have made them hurt worse than they hurt her. I want Max to see what it looks like when people are willing to stand up for what they want. When they're willing to make something of their life. The world is harsh. It's up to us to change it. Only when weak make I carry my true strength. Maybe one. Maybe we'll come back someday. If we do. I hope you're not still sitting in your stupid fucking chair. His kids are enough to join the scars. Jeez. Hmm. Well. On the bright side. Family's keys. Oh, 
What is wrong with you? He's a skeleton. He doesn't need them. <sighs> I just don't understand how anybody willingly joins the Scars. Why not? Because they're an insane cult. That's why. Well, in the QZs, people would refer to the Fireflies as terrorists. Fanatics. We were naive. We weren't fanatical. We blew up checkpoints and assassinated soldiers. It, it's not the same. I'm just saying... Don't say shit like that at the stadium, okay? Okay, all right. You know what, Owen? You're not so bad. But he's dead. Oh, I forgot. What time do you think it is? I don't know. We got time. It's honorable <sighs> that you respect your father, but you have to see he's trying to control you to make you feel like you're still a child because he's too afraid to act like a man. You deserve to be surrounded by a community that can foster a strong spirit like yours. Max, even more so. He's so impressionable. If you care about your brother, you'll get him out of there before he takes on your father's weaknesses. We'll be passing by your aquarium again in five days. If you want to join us, light a torch along the dock and we'll pull in nearby. May she guide you. Jesus. Want to try those keys? Oh, yeah. This one? Nope. How about... Got it. She seems so pissed. Damn. Painting this must have taken forever. Okay, well, they broke up at some point, and he had a baby with Mel, or he cheated on her with Mel? I wonder. Are we going to get to see that drama? Don't tell me you want to go down there. Come on. Owen. <laughs> Last thing. I promise. Last thing. <sighs> Just, uh, don't look down. Oh, just go. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> look at these. I'd love to meet this kid. I mean, he's a scar. Maybe you have. Oh. Jesus, I sure hope not. No, is that oh. the person he didn't kill? Get on in here. <gasps> wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. <gasps> that spots. <laughs> See that? Told you they were spotted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This? It's this, isn't it? You are disgusted by it. <laughs> Come on, Ab. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Talk to me. I know all the leads have dried up, but... But Joel's still out there, you know? What can I do? Let's go back. 
We can still make training. Go ahead. What about you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hang out with the seals for a little while. I'm sorry. I told you already. Don't be sorry. Hmm. Seems like he doesn't really want to be part of this life of fighting. What if Owen's somewhere else? He's there. Let's get off the roof before someone sees us. Well, okay, um, I guess I'm gonna stop here. I, yeah, I feel a lot of emotions. I am surprised that I am still playing as Abby right now, considering that, you know, we were at the theater and Joel's being held at gunpoint and Ellie's right there and Jesse, wow, Jesse's dead. I completely forgot Jesse's dead. Um, and I guess Dina's asleep. And we're just roaming through Abby's past, which is weird. That's going to take me a little bit to grapple with. I, I did initially feel like, why? What's the point? I think from now until the end of the story, I'm really going to try my best to just kind of play the game, observe, um, spectate with as little judgment as I can. Obviously, I'm going to feel emotions and whatnot, but I'm not going to make judgments like, oh, this game's bad or this game's good. I'm going to try to just like sit back and see how this ends because I really feel like the ending is going to matter the most. And then I can look at the game as a whole and see how I feel about it. I really feel like it's going to take every single detail put together to really come to a conclusion. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you for the next part. Bye guys.